Almond Girls Soccer is having one of their best years in some time. The Pioneers have won 17 games and just captured their third sectional title in school history. We are now joined by two Almond Soccer players, Colleen Kenny and Chastity Colburn. Uh, ladies, first of all, congratulations on winning the sectional championship, uh, third one in school history. And uh, Colleen, I'll start with you. When, this, when you started out this year, what were some of the goals and those goals? Was it regional sectionals and kind of where you're at right now? Um, pretty much, yeah. We know we wanted to obviously work hard and win, but we were just kind of taking it one game at a time, one practice at a time, just working hard in the moment. As this team progressed, I, mean, I think you won your first eight or nine games. You were like eight, eight or nine yeah. in a row before you hit conference. Um, how much confidence and momentum did you have at the beginning of the year? So going into this year, I think as seniors, we were a little skeptical because we did have such a young team, especially with a group of sophomores that is really large, and we had a lot of freshmen coming in. So we were, we thought we were not going to do so well, but we had to keep it, like Colleen said, one game at a time, and I think that's what we did, and we really just pushed our, pushed as hard as we could. Was it that first eight stretch of games, Colleen, that those freshmen, sophomore kind of grew up, or was it a game maybe after that where kind of things started to click for you ladies? I think it started at the beginning of the season. I think it really started with practices, just keeping on task and pushing that way. And I think once we got in a few games, they realized, like, oh, we're good and we can do this. So they're just going to keep working hard for it. Chastity, how hard has it been for you to watch the postseason so far? Unfortunately for you, you hurt your leg in a practice um, and you haven't been able to play since. But how, how hard has it been, but fun has it been to watch the ladies win? Yeah, I mean, it's really hard to sit on the bench after I've played all the games before, but um, they're doing fantastic, and they've told me so many times that they're playing for me, but I think we're really playing for our school mm -hmm. and just for ourselves because we knew that we wanted this, and now that we're making it happen, and I may not be on the, on the field with them, but they're doing a great job, and I'm so proud of them. So, One thing that I've noticed, especially in the postseason, uh, go back to the, the Depew game, the first game, nine or ten girls score then you play your regional championship again a few more girls score it seems like you're getting contributions from a lot of people right now how important is that no I think it's really important because not everyone is going to have their best game so it's really important for everybody to be able to step up and that's what we really work hard on being in new positions different situations so everybody's always ready for everything you're one of the you were one of the key members back there in that defense, <laughs> holding, holding everything together. How have they been doing? And what, do you, what have you been telling them? Yeah, well, Colleen stepped into my spot, which I've been so grateful for. She's an amazing player. But um, we do have, we have three seniors back there right now, so they kind of know the game. But um, our sophomore, Issa, she's doing fantastic. And during games, she'd always ask, like, what am I doing wrong or that kind of thing. And she still comes off every half and is like asking for advice. And I'm there to give it to her every time because they are working their butts off and they're doing fantastic while doing it. Were you surprised, uh, Colleen, how, I'm going to say easy, it, it's never easy because you guys put a lot of hard work into it, but a 4 nothing score in sectionals to win that championship, were you surprised by that? Um, honestly, not really. I think we've been doing pretty good getting shots on goal, moving the ball around a lot. It's really helped that we've been able to keep the ball up top for the defense just to get a little rest sometimes, so that's just real helpful. Um, talk about those forwards up top. I mean, you're, you're getting to see it from a different perspective yeah. now, from a coach's perspective. How, how is this team performing, especially up top, to be able to put all those goals in? Yeah, they're doing great. Um, they really are working hard, and um, it's really nice to see such a young team work with the older girls. I think that's kind of hard just because you haven't been playing with them for as long. But to watch them like check in and out of spaces and to see them make runs, it's like – when you're looking from the sideline versus when you're looking at the field, it's a whole different perspective. And to see them now, they've grown just even in the last few games on how well they're doing. And I think that really comes down to our girls at practice. What do you know about Montini? Obviously, Tuesday's a big game. It's, you're the Elite Eight, one step away from making it to state. What do you know about Montini? Um, not much, but I know we're not going to change our game. We're, not gonna, we're just going to play how we always play. It's a new game. We've got to work hard, put the other games in the past. So. They have a few um, really fast girls up top, so we have to watch that. But I think our defensive has that covered. Mm -hmm. As you make this trip, is it put in perspective what you've been able to accomplish, win, lose, draw, whatever happens? Obviously, you want to win, but regardless of what happens, you're the third team to get to this point in all of my history. Yeah, and that feels great just to know that after these last few years, like um, to watch us grow and our team grow, it has been such a great feeling. So for us to be able to get this far, which was 
even past our goal at the beginning of the season. Sure. So we're feeling pretty good, and like Colleen said, we're not going to change our game for anybody. Well, yeah, um, well, freshman year, we obviously got this far, and it was right. really devastating for, to, for the seniors not to move on forward, but I think it's kind of playing for them, showing them that we've gotten better and that we, we want to win for the school, too. Well, ladies, congratulations. Sectional champs, nobody can take that away from you. Get one more win, and you're into the final four, so good yes. luck on Tuesday. Thank, Thank you. you. All right, it's halftime here. Still ahead, Sh Sherrard success. What enabled first regional title since 2015. We'll talk with the Sherrard baseball players coming up next. <laughs>